Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, things are looking different. My hair color, it's changed. It's different. Soak it in. Um, yeah, it's definitely like a red color, but it's looking a little brown on camera, so that's okay. In today's video, I am testing out some new ColourPop makeup. I have some highlighters. I have some eyeshadows, some lipsticks concealers. I'm just trying it all out. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, that, I would appreciate it if you wanted to subscribe to my channel. I'm just throwing out ideas out here. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into this get ready with me first impression style video. Okay, so I'm just putting on the foundation. I started putting the foundation on and you can see it's on my forehead. I don't know if you can see. And I realized that I feel like my hair is making me look paler than I am, which is fine, but I just had like the natural white wall behind me. And it was really, I looked very sick <laughs> on camera because my face was literally matching the shade of the wall. So yeah, that was fun. Um, so I just threw up a backdrop. So <sighs> everything's starting so smoothly. The reason being is because I just got new lighting in my room and ooh, I look good. Um, I just got new lighting, which I'm super excited about because my room is a dark cave. So it is really nice having these huge lights. Like I'm staring at the biggest lights right now. Moving on to concealer, I'm really excited. I finally ordered the ColourPop concealers and I ordered two of them, but this one, <laughs> I know that a lot of people say that once they're applied and they dry down, they are a lot darker than what they look like, but this one's practically white. It's literally white. So I think I'm going to pass on that one um, for now because my face is already a little too white for my body, believe it or not. It's fake tan. It's not a real tan. Um, so luckily I got two and I got this one in the shade <laughs> Fair 4. Now, I I don't know if this is going to be good, but we're just going to try it. I've heard really good things about this concealer, so I'm pretty excited to give it a go. Concealer is one of those things that I never used to wear, and now I literally like have to wear it all the time. It's probably due to my lack of sleep, I'm assuming, and getting older, I guess. The only thing that I've heard about this concealer is that it can get dry. I think that that's what I heard about this one. Um, so we'll see. I do tend to get dry under my eyes and that's like the one part that I'm a little concerned about. The concealer, it looks really nice like on my forehead and on my chin, but underneath the eyes, kind of where just like your eyes do naturally crease. Mine are kind of, you can tell by the shape of my eye, they do naturally crease. Um, so. It is creasing a tiny bit. Okay, as per usual, we're just going to move it right along to eyeballs right now. And for eyes, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Dream Street Palette from Kathleen Lights. And it looks like this if you guys have not seen it yet. It is really beautiful. It's one of those palettes I've literally have been going on the ColourPop website. I'll put it in my basket and then I'll take it out because I'm like, ah, I don't really need it. But I finally got it and I have, I'm pretty excited to use it. I'm not going to lie. It's just so itty bitty. It's really cute. But it was $16 so I, I can't complain about anything because that's a very affordable price. And ColourPop has really great eyeshadows. So I know that the blue shadow right now is kind of trending. Um, but I do want to do... do, 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 do. Huh? I do want to dive into that blue shade right there. I think it's calling my name. I think I want to do kind of like a halo eye with it. I don't know, like a gold. I don't know. I have some ideas. So I'm going into the palette and I think I'm going to dip into hmm, this transition shade right here. Shooting star, I think. I don't know. I think it's shooting star. But anyway, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and dig into Shooting Star and just kind of pl start plopping that into the crease just to kind of put a little bit of life. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. These are so pigmented. Okay. Um, I wasn't expecting that, so we're just going to kind of roll with it. They blend out really very, very seamlessly. Um, so I'm going to take that blue shade right in the center there, the matte one. 
and I'm just gonna start building that up along the sides of my eyeballs. Ooh. I like how when it actually shows up, like it actually shows up blue. I feel like there's a lot of blues out there um, that they're blue in the pan and then when you go to put them on, it just kind of fades so it's not as like true to color. What I really want to start doing is kind of digging into like new products and like new brands that I haven't really played around with before. Um, so I did just, I just ordered a new palette that's on the way and I'm really excited because it's like super bright and I don't know, I'm really excited. For some reason I just have this like crazy inspiration right now to do like really fun bright eyes, something that I've never really done before. I feel like I look like a zombie. I find that halo eyes are the best shape for my eyeball. Um, I kind of have smaller lid shape, so I feel like when you have smaller eyes like this, at least for me when I do the halo eyes, I find that you can kind of see see it more. Like when I'm looking straight on, you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and lay the color on the lid now. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. That It's like a goldish, shimmerish shade. In your eyeshadow too, it's always good to like look as straight ahead as possible so that way you can kind of really get a feel for how your eye is naturally going to lay. That way, if you're kind of looking at it in different angles, it might look really awesome in that angle, but then when you go out and you're looking at it straight on, you're just kind of like, I don't understand, why does my eyeshadow look like this? So I'm really liking this. This is really pretty. The quality of this palette is, it's stunning. I was thinking on the lower lash line, it would be really fun just because I really wanted to do something with the pink. So that one right there, I just think that having like a pop of color underneath the lash line would be really pretty. And so I'm just gonna take that. And I'm just gonna smoke it all the way across. Okay, I think I'm gonna put glitter on my eyes because I just want it to pop a little bit more with gold. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay um, glitter eyeliner thing, glitter liner in Midnight Cowboy. It's so funny because if you would have told me years ago that I would be rocking blue eyeshadow, I probably would have laughed at you and called you dumb. Um, because I feel like we were kind of like, I don't know, blue eyeliner, blue eyeliner, blue eyeliner for me growing up was always just for some reason to me, it was like a no no. Um, and then it looked like tacky or something or bad side. She's looking a little wonky. Okay. We aren't going to judge this side. I think I'm going to cool it with the eyes for right now. I always put my mascara on last. Um, but I think I'm just going to jump into bronzing the face because girl, I need to bronze this. It looks so bad. Um, for bronzer, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Tawny. Make me up inside. I feel like that's how my skin is. Pigmented. So if you are someone who can kind of go a little heavy handed with the bronzer, um, you've been warned. You don't need to go heavy handed with her. She is on her own. She's okay. Okay, I'm looking a little bit more alive now, somewhat. I'm gonna go in for a blush now, and I'm just going into the Tarte um, blush bundle here, and I'm going in with this one right here. I think that that would be a really pretty shade. I've been loving coral blushes recently. Normally, I always do pink, um, but when I change my hair color, I think I really like corals. Now to highlighter, which I am so freaking excited for. I finally, finally purchased the In Nude Endo um, ColourPop palette. Um, I am gonna go in with this just stunning ivory shade and that's in the shade Glad You Came. And oh my God, <sighs> a moment of silence. I'm just gonna pop that right here. It's just such a pretty shade. I love it because it's not like a bright white highlighter and it just kind of gives your skin <sighs> got hair it just kind of gives your skin like that natural um not like not like natural but that like wet look i'm going to spray some pixie glow mist on my skin just to kind of melt everything together um i feel like my skin kind of needs it so i say 
little. I mean like the whole bottle. For lips, I just got three new ColourPop lippy sticks and I got them in like a nice kind of like a red. This one is in Lullaby. I'm not gonna use this one today because that would look crazy. Um, but it's just like a really bright, fun red. I'm very excited for this for summertime. Um, another one is in like more of like a pink mauve toned shade. And this one is Little Things. I think that these are all new too. So this one's kind of like purpley mauve shade. It's really pretty, but I think the one that I'm gonna wear today is this one. And this one is in the shade Psych! Psych! And it's just like this really pretty corally kind of nude. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go in with Psych. I think that this would be really pretty with the eyes. And then we're done. We're moving right along. Okay. That is actually really pretty. It's a little darker than I had thought, but it's okay. It's really pretty. And I mean, you can't really even like, see the under eyes. I have some pink there. Um, but in person, it actually looks really pretty together, but it is a little bit darker than I had anticipated. I'm going to wrap up the video. I think we are kind of all set. So to wrap it up, um, first of all, the eyeshadow palette. Kathleen. You made my eyelids beautiful. Um, truthfully, this is an amazing palette. I love this. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this palette. You can make so many different looks, but this one, it takes the cake. It is really beautiful. So you will probably be seeing me using that a lot. The lipsticks, I'm always a fan of ColourPop lippy sticks, so it's not even a question. I really like it. Um, but then moving on, let me kind of check the concealer out here. How's this doing? The concealer looks great, honestly. Um, no, yeah, the concealer actually looks really beautiful. You can't see the creasing. Once I put the color under my eyes, you can't see it too bad, at least not now. It could definitely crease throughout the day. It could do that. Um, but right now, she's looking cute. She isn't creasing at all. She's a good color. Um, I really like it. And it actually didn't get as dark as some people said. Some people said when it dries down, it oxidizes a lot but it didn't really seem to do that too much for me. So I really do like that. And then the highlighters, come on, come on. You're not just not gonna like this. Um, the highlighters were stunning. I can't wait to play around with all of the different shades. If I could put them all on my cheek, I would, but you can just see it's, it's a beautiful glow from within. You can build it up, you can keep it simple. This is a beautiful palette. I think this was $18. So if you are in the market for a highlighter and you want to pick this up, I highly recommend checking this out. Okay, you guys. So I think that that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys like the look and let me know if you guys have tried out any of these ColourPop products or which one was your favorites, if so. And let me know if you guys want to see me do other looks with that too. I can kind of do like a two in one style video of an eyeshadow look for you. I just, I really want to play around with it and see what else I can come up with. Um, other than that, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you guys have not subscribed already. And that's it. That's it. That's, we're moving along here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.